all for being here. My name is Giovanna Rodriguez, and it is an honor for me to be here today in support of a true champion of gun violence prevention. Governor Raimundo has been at the forefront of our state's efforts to save lives, and I'm truly grateful for her continued support and leadership. Governor Raimundo spent years fighting alongside us to strengthen Rhode Island's weak domestic violence gun laws. I know from my experience how difficult it is to disarm domestic abusers. After someone pulls a gun to your head, you never forget what the full pressure of that gun feels like. My abuser physically abused me, emotionally abused my children. He had guns everywhere, in the car, on our dining room table. It was a very terrifying way to live. Yet a judge wouldn't take those guns away. Even though we know there is a deadly nexus between domestic violence and gun violence, and that when a gun is present, it is, I'm sorry, in a domestic violence situation, women are five times more likely to be killed. I had the opportunity to share my experience with Governor Raimundo, who didn't just listen, she did something. On behalf of every woman who has ever been victimized, threatened, or intimidated by an intimate partner, I thank God Governor Raimundo signed the Protect Rhode Island's Families Act to remove guns from dangerous abusers. That is why I am proud to stand here today on behalf of every town for gun safety. I'd like to announce that Governor Raimundo is every town's endorsed candidate in the September 12th primary election next week. Governor, our governor, Gina Marino. 